at the end of the day, what determines whether a person wins or loses is how many votes they can get into the ballot box on the 3rd of September. And that is what consumes our minds 24-7. We're doing the work, we're sitting down planning, strategizing, getting all the resources together to ensure that on election day, when the polls close, there is only one winner and it's the Jamaica Labour Party and my campaign. I mean, the people who are voting have always lived there. The polling stations are in their communities. As is traditionally expected, the political organizations have to mobilize their runners and their drivers to ensure that those who need transportation to go to the polling station have it. As it relates to COVID, we are ensuring that as many people as possible have their masks. We are providing them with sanitizers and we are encouraging them to adhere to the protocols that exist. We are also very interested in the welfare of the elderly because a lot of our voters are elderly persons. So we are having a special initiative for them to ensure that they are okay. Are you worried that such a significant percentage, based on what the poll says though, that those persons didn't have an answer or they are not going to vote? The poll basically is a little bit above the, the voter turnout. Well, a, a good amount of points above the voter turnout for 2016. We know that there are a lot of persons who either one are not interested in participating in the process or two are discouraged from participating in the process for varying reasons. Our duty is to go on the road, articulate our vision, articulate our policies and try to make as many people to understand what the government agenda is and what plans we have for the constituency. At the end of the day, based on all the polls and all the trajectories and all the canvas, we see that we are going to be victorious with a good majority, but we're not taking it for granted, which is why we're standing here today doing the work. Does the, the results though, showing you um, quite a distance ahead, does it make it any easier for your campaign? Um, it actually days? makes it harder. Because what it does is that it forces me now to ensure that we are even more ahead than what the poll says. Because one of the challenges you have with polls is that a poll can cause complacency. And I am not interested in a complacent campaign. So when we see the poll and the poll says X, we actually start to minus from the poll and start from a lower figure in order to ensure that our workers understand that even though we understand that a majority of the constituents support us, we have to ensure that those ma that majority gets into the ballot box. So for us, the poll is an indication of a particular point in time, but it also motivates us to even work harder because we do not want people to feel that we win already. In terms of your own canvas, um, how close to or how far apart? You Erica? <laughs> yes? No, I can't tell you that. Okay. Uh, I, would never, I would never reveal such a secret. Okay. What do you do now, between now and Wednesday? Just continue the political work that we've been doing. Remember, I was approved to come here on the 4th of May. Since the 4th of May, I think I have traversed almost 80% of the constituency. I have six days to repeat some places and to try to finish the next 20%. Also, we have to keep planning for election day activities. We have to make sure that our workers understand what their roles are. We have to ensure that our COVID protocols are in place. We have to ensure that all the various support systems are in place. So that's what we're doing. We're focused, we're very focused. Um, we're very interested in how we are gonna ensure that all our ballots that we want get into the box. That is our focus. Do you sleep? Sometimes but not often. Hmm. Um, they need to sleep. After the third. They used to have a thing on Taylor Hall where they say sleep is a concept. I've been practicing for 20 years for this moment and I'm not gonna allow it to pass without giving it my full effort. The people of North Central Clarendon will determine whether I'm in God knows or not. While we are confident that we have majority support, we are not taking it for granted. We are doing the work.